Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys an unboxing or unwrapping of origami paper. Today I wanted to share with you the single sheet of paper that I bought at a specialty store that kind of focuses, it's just a fancy stationery shop, very similar to uh, Tokyo Hands if you're used to seeing things there. So it's not, you know, just exclusively origami paper. They have lots of other really nice, you know, pens and notebooks, diaries, those kinds of things. But this is uh, nice because it's just one single sheet of paper and uh, commonly is sold in this uh, size that you see here. This is 31 by 32 centimeters, so just shy of a square. And uh, you could easily cut down one of the ends to make a perfect square. I really have no idea what I'm gonna do with this because it's so pretty. Might just have to hang it on my wall because I, I love goldfish. And so having this kind of layered paper with the traditional sort of uh, you know handmade fibrous paper that you see here is so beautiful. And you can tell it's, it's see-through. So uh, certainly, you know, it's meant to be, it's a, a, a flimsier material. You wouldn't wanna fold some complicated dinosaur with this paper. Hmm, maybe it's gonna be too hard to open. I don't know if I wanna open it. <laughs> but uh, I always love going and looking. They have them usually uh, sort of similar to the way that, I don't know, I showing my age here. When I was a kid, I used to go to Hunky Dory and buy posters. <laughs> And they used to have from my bedroom, they used to have all the posters lined up in these cool little ways that you could look at each one of them as you kind of folded them like a book. And it's sort of similar to that with the way that they have the origami paper kind of laid out sort of like, like drying laundry a little bit. And you can kind of look from each one to see which one you want. So they do have like larger sheets of paper uh, and then uh, thinner pieces like this that you can just grab and pick whichever one you like. You buy them just by the sheet. It's 150 yen for one of them. Uh, and so it can be a really fun way to get a unique piece that you really like of a pattern or design that might be something that you really enjoy and then you can use that either just you know for decorative pieces in your house um, frame it just as it is whatever you want to do with it I usually just put mine in a drawer and look at it every now and again and say oh that's right I had that really pretty paper I don't know what to do with it <laughs> so uh, that's I think Whenever you enjoy a certain kind of craft like this, it's probably similar to sewing and if you find this really beautiful fabric but you just never know when to use it, it's similar to origami paper. Uh, if you can find a few that are really beautiful or really match your interest but you just can't quite bring yourself to folding it up, I have to leave it like this forever. So, um, But I wanted to give you guys an idea that this is another way that you can buy paper in Japan and certainly uh, is a really fun way to be able to get some unique designs. And uh, if you go to the right areas, then they have more locally produced patterns. So that can be kind of a plus depending on where you are. Uh, so you can kind of see that if you're interested in trying to find something that was locally made. Uh, if you ask, you might even be able to go visit the place where they make the paper. So that can be kind of cool too. So um, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.